So you said it was a Google developer meetup, right? Yeah. And it was a Flutter meetup. So if you want to give us a little bit of brief about what Flutter is and how mm -hmm. your experience was. Well, so I have never used Flutter. That was one of the questions that everyone was asking me there that, hey, do you use Flutter? Are you here to learn something more, etc.? So I've never used Flutter. I've only used like in the front end Angular and React, and I host those services using Firebase. Now, Firebase is a Google Cloud product. Angular is a Google product. Flutter is a Google product. So what it means is that Firebase in itself, the cloud, uh, the serverless backend, has a lot of features that are catered to Angular and, and uh, Flutter. I have been noticing that most new features are very well built, very well made, and they are catering Flutter developers and Flutter apps. So I thought, what is this Flutter and why is Firebase pushing it? Everyone is learning it. I heard Flutter for the first time like five, six years ago. At that time, it was like no man's land. No one was really using Flutter, but now it's growing a lot. So what it does is you write the code once. It's like a component tree. You write the code once, and then it gives you an iOS app, an Android app and a web app. Oh, that's cool. So it's like Ionic and... It's like Ionic, Ionic and React Native. Native, and, and yeah. Yes, some other features. Now, it, it does not... It is not a single page application like React or Angular, at least from what I understand. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below because I'm new to Flutter, so be kind to me. And it's just growing and it was nice to learn a little bit about it. Now, I'm no expert with just one meetup. There's no way I can learn much, but it was an interesting one. And I would say the thing I really loved was the experience of the meetup. You know, I went there, some of you might have heard about Unity Technologies. It's a company that makes games Game, or gaming yeah, platforms, think. right? It was a very, very cool office, like the coolest building I've ever seen in my life. You might be seeing right now on the screen and this video, very cool building. I met so many cool developers. I met entrepreneurs who were creating apps, who left their full-time jobs and were working on some apps. And I made connections, reached out on LinkedIn to some people, met a girl from Google who organizes uh, women in tech workshops and seminars, yeah. in which I said that you might be interested in that. So Yes, they're going to have one in Montreal soon, and I will be attending that. Really? And we'll do a video about that in our, on our channel, of course. Yeah. 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 So overall, a fun experience. Usually they have pizzas and beer. This day they didn't have it, but they had, you know, coffees, tea, and, you know, chips, etc. So it was just a fun night with all the nerds, developers like me in one place. So, yeah. Right. So, so it's informative and, uh, but like if you go there and learn nothing, but you still get free food. So it's still a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. That's why a lot of students actually attend these meetups because you get to meet people who are actually working mm -hmm. and you get to meet people who are still students in universities trying to find their first job. And in one room, if you have 50 like-minded people, well, most likely you will have a fun night. Mm -hmm. And that's the worst case scenario. And the best case scenario is you have a fun night with food and maybe you'll end up getting a job if you're looking for one. Right. Right. Makes sense. In general, why should people go to meetups? Mm -hmm. Right. Because I think this is something that people have asked us a lot. So let me ask you and then I'll give my opinion that uh, why do you think someone, especially a student without a job, and then people with a job, doesn't matter, should go to meetups? Why do you think so? A, the exposure. B, great place to build networks. And C, I mean, of course, you're going to get a lot of, uh, like, it, it's an informative uh, environment where you, you know, like, there's a lot of people, like-minded people, as you mm -hmm. already pointed out, and you talk to people, then you, of course, get a lot of new information. Um, but then if you don't do that, you just go there, enjoy yourself, get food and, you know, build contacts. Yeah. It's still, I would say it's still a win-win, right? Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, meetups, I mean, of course, they're a must, yeah. especially in your student life, because they're full of opportunities. Yeah. So if you go there, build contacts, someone might be you, even your potential em employer. You never know, right? Yeah. And we are saying meetup. Meetup.com doesn't sponsor this video or programmer couple in any sense. I think they should because yeah. we have done so much promotion for them. So when we say meetup, we basically mean any event yeah. where it's a developer oriented event, which is either for free or paid. Meetup events are usually free. I've never been to a meetup that is actually a paid event, but they're also paid conferences which can range from anywhere from you know twenty dollars, which is uh, thousand fifteen hundred rupees if you're in India, twenty Canadian dollars if you're here, uh, to maybe you know three thousand dollars. So yeah. the range is very wide, 
meetups and usually free events are great uh, to start with. And then when you build enough confidence and you talk to enough people, then yes, you build your reputation, you can give talks. But the best thing is you can get a job. Right? Exactly. That is what I did. I think most of you already know if you have been following us until now that uh, when I was a student, instead of staying home and playing FIFA on my PS, I went to a meetup one day. It was a JavaScript monthly meetup, which was which which happens first Tuesdays of every month. It still happens in Montreal. You can check it out. And I went there and I met a guy named Patrice, Patrice Jarvis, who was a CEO and owner of GoGap. And we met and he said that he's looking for developers and he was looking for part-time developers and I was a student. So it worked out perfectly. I sent my resume to him. He was kind of interested, but not too much because I was a fresher. I didn't know anything about tech. I went to another meetup and by chance Patris came there as well. So I went to two or three different meetups and I saw him every time. And then he was like, this guy is constantly coming to meetups. Maybe he's very interested in tech. Let's take a chance on him. And that's what he did. And that's how I got my first job here in Canada. So if you're here in India, anywhere in US, meetups might be a way to have a fun night. In the end, you might also be able to get a job if that is your goal. If you're an entrepreneur, it's great to meet developers who, who you can hire. So yeah. either way. Yeah. So it's a great way to show your potential employers that you are interested in this in the field of technology, like even outside of your school curriculum, right? Yeah. So you should be like highly motivated on a personal level to attend such uh, like conferences and meetups. You meet someone for the first time, either you're a badminton player or a soccer player or a developer, it doesn't matter. You don't build as much you know, relationship in, the, in one meet, you have to meet multiple times. Even if you're looking for a date, you know, you go on multiple dates and then you get to know the other person. And that's what happens uh, in any area of life. So pretty good. Cool. Yeah.